I'm finished. I've just finished The Vegetarian by Han Kang. And it's one that won the International Booker Prize in 2016. I'm working my way through past past prize winners while I'm waiting for my library to do, deliver the latest of the women's prize shortlist, which I'm still waiting for. So I'm picking up previous prize winners that I've missed. This one I went into not knowing anything about and considering that I'd recently read a book about cannibalism, the vegetarian seemed an appropriate one to pick up next. It's about a young woman, um, Yong Hai, who becomes a vegetarian. And it's something that her family can't understand, her husband can't understand. It is so alien and so almost rebellious to their sensibilities. They cannot understand why she is doing this. And it's not that she's moving to a plant-based diet or anything like that. She just stops eating. And so she's fading away. She's getting thinner and thinner and thinner. It's in three parts. The first part, you've got sort of three parts and each has got a different point of view. And part two follows on several years after part one and part three follows on several years after part two. So you've got three members of the family that are giving their points of view, get their, telling their stories and we see the progression of what happens to Yong Hai through the book. She becomes isolated because she's stopped eating meat. She stopped eating. She becomes isolated and it's almost, it's self-isolation, it's almost self-destruction because she she seems to she become so damaged, she gets institutionalised. And she almost suffers violence. It's violence against her because of what she is wanting to do. It's a very powerful book. It's very and the hip writing is so hypnotic. It's so descriptive. It's not just about her giving up meat. That's, that's one part of it. We've also got sexual desire in here, but it's not sexual desire because of... It's not because she is so wonderfully attractive. It's not sort of the lust because you see someone who's so overwhelmingly attractive you want to have sex with them. It's almost as though she's... It's it's very difficult to explain. It's almost the sexual desire. It's the meeting of nature, self pollination, that type of thing. It, it's it's really strange and ethereal when it, it's talking about this element and and what's and what goes on in that section. She's broken the boundaries as far as her sister's concerned. Yong Hao has broken the boundaries by becoming a vegetarian, becoming a vegan. And you almost get in here a sense of jealousy that the sister never did that. She went on just living her life while her sister was the one who broke the boundaries and did something different, even though what she did was self-destructive. Self -destructive. I wasn't expecting anything like that when I picked this up, I, because I never, didn't know anything about it. But a book that you think about when you've read it, it's a book that doesn't, it's not a matter of finished, put it down, move on. It's a book that you think, you think about, it, it stays with you. So, The Vegetarian, and that won the Booker International in 2016. So, happy reading. Take care.